Now we will see another sterilization technique which is called as autoclave and this is also sometimes called as moist heat sterilizer okay moist heat sterilizer so with whatever name they ask you you have to write this uh, about autoclave and about the uh, moist heat sterilizer you have uh, you should know these both these two names because if they if you don't know this name or this name then uh, even if you know the answer then you will not be able to write the answer because you will not be knowing that it is asking for the same thing okay so you should know both the names now uh, about writing this question you have to first write about the introduction so you will introduce this instrument or this uh, sterilizer as this is a physical method of sterilization which uses the concept of the moist heat for sterilizing different objects or instruments so what are the uses you should write the uses at last but i have written it here first because you have to remember this and it's quite tough to remember the uses of different sterilizing machines or different sterilizing techniques so you should remember the uses the uses of autoclave is that is used for sterilization of the culture media used for sterilization of the surgical instruments dental equipments and all the critical and semi-critical items now what are these critical and semi-critical items remember the instruments the surgical instruments have been classified into uh, critical semi-critical and non-critical items uh, based on certain uh, you know factors so uh, among them the critical and semi-critical items are sterilized by this autoclave technique okay so culture media surgical instrument dental equipments and critical and semi-critical items are sterilized by this autoclave now coming to the principle of this autoclave so the principle is that uh, the water boils when the vapor pressure becomes equal to the surrounding atmospheric pressure we know this from the knowledge of chemistry that any liquid boils when the vapor pressure uh, of that liquid becomes equal to the surrounding atmospheric pressure so therefore water boils at a 100 degree centigrade because at 100 degree centigrade its vapor pressure becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure this is normal this is uh, understandable till now now when the pressure inside a closed chamber increases the boiling point also increases this is a concept of physics that whenever the uh, the pressure uh, increases the atmospheric pressure increases then the boiling point of any liquid also increases and the same concept is used in pressure cooker also because in pressure cooker when the lid is closed the the pressure inside that uh, pressure cooker rises very much uh, and that causes rise in the boiling point of the liquid or the water also inside that pressure cooker and thereby cooking the rice very quickly so that's the importance of increasing the uh, pressure inside the pressure cooker that it uh, quickly cooks the food the same principle is used here also that when we close the uh, when the whole system is closed it produces very high saturated steam with a very high penetrating power now this is the all the uh, i mean this is the main uh, point of the autoclave that it produces saturated steam with very high penetrating power everything whatever is done by the autoclave is done by this steam with very high penetrating power okay so this is the main point of the autoclave that it produces saturated steam with very very high penetrating power which helps in all the function of the autoclave what are the components of this autoclave so components of autoclave uh, includes uh, the pressure chamber which may be vertical or horizontal then water compartment then a lid with a safety valve and an electrical heater is there so in this technique what happens is that uh, the water compartment is closed by this lid with a safety valve so the water compartment is filled with water okay lid is closed and we on the electrical heater we put on the electrical heater as the electrical heater is put on the water boils and steam is produced but the steam cannot escape 
escape because we know that the water compartment has been closed by this lid with a valve so that's why there occur increase in the pressure of the steam and also the boiling point inside uh, of that of the water inside that compartment also rises as the pressure rises so that's why it produces very high saturated steam which has a pressure of about 15 pounds per square inch please remember this pressure that is 15 pound per square inch uh, the pressure is uh, produced at this i mean the st uh, steam is produced at this pressure 15 pound per square inch now when the when this pressure reaches then the safety valve eventually opens and the steam escapes out now what does that is steam with uh, steam do uh, since since that steam is coming from a very high pressure that's why it has a very high penetrating power and as that steam escapes that steam causes coagulation and denaturation of the enzymes and structural proteins of the organisms and thereby organisms are killed and the objects are sterilized but for that we have to keep the uh, keep that object or that material inside the autoclave for about 15 minutes okay so it is 15 pound per square inch and 15 minute the pressure is 15 pounds per square inch and the time is 15 minutes both are important both should be remembered okay so the object is kept for 15 minutes and the pressure of the steam is 15 pound per square inch this is the mechanism of action of the autoclave now coming to the advantage what is the advantage of the autoclave that we don't see in hot air oven or any other technique that uh, this is so much preferred we know that autoclave is very much preferred for sterilization techniques so why we are going for autoclave why, why not some other techniques so for that we have to come to the advantages so advantage is that it is non-toxic why because we are not using any chemical we are using just water and some electrical heater and all we are not using any chemical so it is non-toxic to anyone non-toxic to environment non-toxic to anyone non-toxic to human also so it is non-toxic then it is low cost than etu Remember ETU, I have told you ETU in the sterilization uh, lecture that ETU means ethylene oxide. Okay, that is a chemical gas which is used for sterilization. So, it is, yeah, it has a lower cost than ETU. That's why it is also preferred. Then it has a faster sterilization cycle. Remember the hot air oven where we have to keep for 1 hour, 2 hour or 2.5 hour. But here the uh, process is only for 15 minutes. So, we can quickly sterilize the object the clothes or uh, any material but whatever we want to sterilize so the time duration is very less about 15 minutes only that's why it has a faster sterilization cycle so that is also advantage of this autoclave so these are the three most important advantages of the autoclave now coming to the disadvantages the disadvantage is that it is using moisture okay now that moisture may be corrosive for metal so metallic instruments should not be uh, for that matter uh, sterilized by this uh, autoclave because that may corrode the metals of the instruments okay thereby may lead to damage of those instruments medical instruments or equipments uh, the second disadvantage is that the moisture can damage electronics so electronic substances electronic equipments can also not be sterilized by this autoclave technique and high temperature is not suitable for all metals we know that here also we all use the high temperature so again the uh, materials which are very sensitive to temperature should not be sterilized by this technique but yeah the, despite of all these disadvantages this is most used sterilization technique okay autoclave is the most commonly used sterilization technique now again coming to the sterilization control so how do we check whether the sterilizer the autoclave is working normal properly or not pro uh, functioning properly or not for that we will use the geobacillus stro thermophilus okay the spore of this bacteria is used for checking the functionality of the autoclave okay so uh, we will keep the uh, this spore of this bacteria inside the autoclave and uh, after keeping it for 15 minutes we will see whether the spore is live or dead if the uh, spore is live that means the autoclave the sterilizer is not functioning well 
and then we and uh, hence this uh, autoclave sterilizer should be discarded or should be modified but if the steril uh, if the spore is dead then we can say that yes the sterilization is sterilizer the autoclave is functioning normally or functioning properly so this is the all about autoclave